Use the row widget to display multiple widgets horizontally on the x-axis. Use the column widget to display multiple widgets vertically on the y-axis. And use the stack widget to display multiple widgets on top of each other on the z-axis. In this video we will create two simple designs with the stack widget and we will also look in detail at how all the properties of the stack widget work. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating a stack widget. Therefore you go to your build method and then you create within the children property all the widgets which you want to display on top of each other. The stack widget has then a lot of different properties at which we want to look right now. So in our case we have here a red box, a yellow box and also a green big box. And all of these widgets are on top of each other. So the green widget is on the bottom, then comes the yellow widget and then comes the red widget. And we want to use right now the alignment, the margin and the clip behavior to change the behavior of how our widgets are displayed in our stack. Therefore you can first of all change the alignment and here you can set it to top start, to top center or top end and this means that every time all the widgets are aligned to the top end corner for example or to the start and center and also to the center so all of the widgets are aligned to the center and so on so you have your different kind of properties. And next to the alignment you also can put positioned widgets into your stack and this time we can align for example this blue widget to the top left corner like before. However you also can increase here the margin so we add here for example currently 20 pixels to the top and to the left. Or if you change it here to top center then we have it here at top. Or if you change it to top right then we have the margin at the top and at the right corner. And here we have then different kind of possibilities where we can place our widgets and you can always change here the margin how far it should be away from this corner. If you set a negative margin then you see that our widget is going away. However if you set then the clip behavior to none then it is also going here outside. And then you also can change here the margin to display it at different points and if you like you can also change here then the position and put it for example at top right and then you put here a minus 20 margin inside so that we have here 20 pixels to the right overlapped and 20 pixels to the top overlapped. Let's get started by creating our first practical design with our stack and therefore we want to create here a widget as a background and on top of this widget we want to overlap then this other widget. Therefore we get started within the build method and here inside we create a new method build profile and here within this method we create then a stack widget and inside of the children we want to place right now first of all this blue container and secondly also this image widget. So let's get started by creating our container. Therefore I add here this container with the orange color and I set the height to 120 pixels. And now on top of this we want to place our image and therefore it is important that you also place it here directly after the container because if you put it before your container, if you put it here inside this widget, then this will overlap this widget which was drawn before. Therefore we create a container and here we create then a decoration and inside of the decoration you can then set a decorated image and we want to place then here our network image inside which means that we load an image from the internet and I also place here then this URL inside which is pointing to this image in the internet. And secondly you also need to supply here then a width and height for your image and now we simply display here an image from the internet. Like you can see this image doesn't have the same width and height which we have specified here and therefore we also need to set here this fit to box fit cover within our decorated image. And this will make sure that we have now 100 pixels in width and 100 pixels in height. And now we want to place this image here inside of the middle and therefore we simply wrap here around our widget which is here our image, another widget around which is called positioned. And with this positioned you can then position your widget inside of your stack and we want to set then the bottom to minus 20 pixels. 
And with this, you see that this image jumps here to the bottom of our stack, which is here this container, and it even overlaps it by 20 pixels. And this is exactly what we have learned before in our walkthrough. So here we have, for example, specified the bottom center, and we also have specified this margin minus 20 pixels. And with this, we have now the same condition here. So we also set it to minus 20. And it is also important to set the clip behavior to none because if you don't set it to none, then you see that it is simply clipped here. And if you set it to none, then it is not clipped. And the same applies also to our stack. So here we have also this clip behavior already set to none. However, if you would remove this, then you see that this is not working and the image is cutted here away. Therefore, make sure that you also put this clip behavior none inside. Next, we want to center our image and how we can do this is by simply going to this position and then you also have here a property which is called left and right. And if you set it here to left zero and left right, then it is also centered. So you see right now it is here stretched. However, if we also put here around our child widget a center widget, then it is centered like you would expect it. On the other hand, if you remove here, for example, this right and only have this left, then he is aligning it to the left side. And you also can place here, for example, 20 pixels inside, then it is 20 pixels away from the left side. So let's put both of them again inside. And next, we also want to make our image rounded and give it a better design. To make your image rounded, you simply go to the container which is holding here your image and inside of your box decoration, you can set a border radius and I set it here to 20. And now if I hot reload, you see that our image is here rounded and even if you put here a higher value inside, then it is even more rounded. Secondly, you also can set within your box decoration a box shadow and here you can set then a box shadow of color white and then you can also specify here the spread radius and I set it to four pixels. And now you see we have here around the shadow and this has a white color. And you also can increase here the spread radius if you want to have here this radius bigger, this white radius, or if you want to have it smaller, then you put here a smaller number inside. Let's also create our second practical example with a stack widget. Here we have an image and you see under it we also have an image and under it we have another image and all of them are overlapped on top of each other. Therefore, let's get started by creating here first of all this rounded image. Therefore, we get started in our build method and here we create a new container and give it some padding and inside of it we want to create then our images and we simply create then here a stack widget. And inside of the stack widget, we want to create our first image. And here I create a new method, therefore, where we get then the URL image of this image, which is pointing then to the internet. And now we want to display this image. And therefore, we do the same thing as before. We use a container. And inside of this decoration, we add a decoration image. And here we put then our network image URL inside. And we also set it to box with cover. And secondly, you also need to set the size of this image. And in our case, we want to set then the aspect ratio to one, which means that our image has the same width and the same height. And now we can simply go back to our stack. And here we create then next to our first image, also second image and also a third image. And now if I hot reload, you see that the last image, which we have put here inside is also drawn on top of our images. However, you cannot see these other two images which are behind this main image. So if I would remove here this image, then you can see them. However, right now you cannot see it. Therefore, we also want to create here this effect that there is an image on top, which you see partly, and also another image, which you see partly, and so on. To do this, we simply add here a margin to all of our images. And then we add here this top property and here we set it to zero for the first image. For the second image, we add it to 60. And for the last image, we set it to 120. Then we also go to our build image and here inside we create then this margin. And now what we have simply to do is to wrap here our aspect ratio around with a container. And then we can simply add here our margin, which we have specified here 
outside with each of these widgets. And now after hot reloading it, you see that we have here our first image and you also see the second and third image. And this is because we have set here this top variable as our margin. And this means basically that we have 120 pixels for this image to the top. Then we have 60 pixels for the second image to the top. And for the third image, which is here displayed at the top, we have no margin at all. And if you like, you can also change here individual images so you can increase here, for example, the spacing. So right now we have here 80 pixels for the second image, or you can also put 40 or whatever you like. However, I put here simply 60 inside. And secondly, we also want to include here some spacing to the left and to the right for the second image. For the third image, we have some more spacing like you can see and so on. Before we add the spacing, we go again to our build image method and here for our decorated image, we also want to include a color filter and with this you can darken your image a bit. So here I set it to a black color with 25% opacity and if you put here a higher percentage inside, for example 80%, then you see here more of the black color. However, if you put here less inside, then you see more of the image. Furthermore, we also want to make our image rounded. Therefore, we go to our decoration image and here we want to include then this border radius and we simply make it then rounded. And now we can add here the spacing for the left side and the right side for all of these images. And therefore, I simply go here to the top to the first image and I put here the horizontal spacing to the left and to the right side 40 pixels. And this looks then like this. And we also do the same thing for our second image. So we put here 20 pixels to the left and 20 pixels to the right. And for our first image, we don't need any spacing to the left and to the right. However, to match here our design, we also can set it here simply to zero. And with this, we have learned how we can stack multiple images on top of each other with a stack widget. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!